play some music and get this thing out of the road. Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I'm Nicole Infanti and thank you so much for clicking on this video. So today's look is a little more colorful than my usual ones even though a lot of people won't consider like olive green to be color. But I did this eye look solely based on this Urban Decay 24 7 eye pencil in the shade Mainline. And I got this during the VIB sale and it's been like the one liner that has been inspired me to do a look like this. So I put this in my waterline and even though it was a lot bluer than what I thought throughout the video, like it still pulled together the look. And I created this look using the Morphe 39A palette. I got this for Christmas, my dad got it for me. And um, it has like a bunch of variety of shades and this was my first time using it. So I stuck mainly to this corner down here and used the transition shade, transition shades here. But yeah, it's overall like a pretty good palette. Like I enjoyed using it. It blended a lot easier than a lot of my other Morphe shadows. Like I think this performs better than the Jaclyn Hill palette and I love that palette. And I think it also performs better than the 25A, which I have, it, it was the one with the clear top. But yeah, I really enjoyed this look, and if you want to see how I got it, then keep on watching. Okay guys, so we're going to start off with my Smashbox Primer Water. I'm going to spritz that all over my face, and then fan it down so it could sink into my skin. And then I will go in with the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer. You guys know that these two things together are my holy grail combination, and I cannot live without it. Then I go with my Hourglass foundation and my Philosophy foundation and I cut myself out of the frame here a little bit but I use the Hourglass in my T-zone mainly which I show you in this little dance and then I put the Philosophy foundation all around just so I still have that hydration that I get from it. And then I'm going to take that with the Beauty Blender and blend it in and I like to use that Cover FX Illuminating Powder powder uh, Illuminating Setting Spray because it brings dewiness to the foundation. And then I'm going to go into this Tarte brush and just go over all of that just to blend it in more. I've been really enjoying this brush, uh, kind of a lot more than a beauty blender, which is shocking. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Sand. <laughs> it is a lot lighter than usual because it is winter here in New Jersey, so I need to uh, pale it up a little bit more. And then I also mix it with my NARS Radiant Creamy just to mix it in with the foundation since this is more of my skin color right now. And I'm just going to blend that in with the Beauty Blender. Okay, so now I take the Too Faced Born This Way setting powder and set everything on my entire face. I use a smaller brush for under my eye, and then I take that big flush bead brush from Morphe and use that all over my face. <laughs> now I'm trying to squeeze this humongous palette into the frame, which was kind of hard. And using the shade Canvas, I put that in as my transition shade on this fluffy crease brush and just really blew that out. It was a lot more pigmented than I expected, so I went a lot lighter in the other eye. And then I used this shade Transitional on a smaller crease brush and just did that to deepen up the crease just a little bit more then I went in the shade cat eye on the same brush and did kind of like the same thing except a little lower and brought that down to my outer V then I took this glamour dolls brush and used that in the inner corner with the same shade cat eye just to uh, bring in the halo eye and start connecting it together so it doesn't look patchy then I went to the shade Fickle on that same Glamour Dolls brush and did like the same thing that I did with the last shade just to introduce the green to the look. At this part of the look I was a little doubtful because it kind of just looked like dirty moss but it comes together. Then I went into a smaller brush and used the shade Pine and did the same thing just kind of repeating the steps here. Outer corner, inner corner and then blending with the excess to sync them up in the middle which is what I'm doing right here. Then I took the shade uh, Inspire and spritzed that with that Cover FX Illuminating Powder and put that on my lid and as you can see it's a lot bluer than I expected and I wasn't too happy with it as you can see here. Yeah, definitely not green enough for what I was going for so I went into the shade So Glam which is like a green gold and layered that on top with the same brush and I think it added like the perfect olive effect to it and I was a lot happier with this combination. 
Then I used a small crease brush and went to the shade Exposed and just deepened everything up even more just to tie it all together, just to marry the halo with the, the um, middle color. And then I went back into that shade Transitional and buffed that all over on the lower lash line with this pencil brush and then the shade Pine and just repeated the same steps. I wasn't going too crazy on the lower lash line, just kind of wanted to blow it out. And then the star of the show is that Urban Decay Liner main line, and it is a lot bluer than what I thought, but I still kind of loved it. And then I put on eyeliner, and with the magic of editing, here are my wings. And then I used my YSL Baby Doll Mascara and just put that everywhere that you would mascara, obviously. <laughs> And then I went into my Shade and Light palette, and you guys have seen me do this in literally every video so far. I took that Morphe brush and just really went ham on the contouring for this look since the eyes are so glam I wanted to make my cheeks just as cut. And then I used that Kat Von D Shade and Light brush and just brightened up the under eye just because there was some fallout that I had to brush off and I thought it darkened up my eye. But then I used it to carve out the contour just to make it even sharper, and yeah. So now I'm going into the Tarte Blush Palette, and I'm taking the shade Endless and putting that literally all over my face. I put a light amount on my cheeks, on both sides, obviously. And then I also like to take blush over my nose just because I think it ties everything together. And then on this really small Luxie brush, I went into ColourPop's Flexitarian. And I've really been loving this method of putting on highlighter because it doesn't make everything too powerful except for this highlight which has a world of its own it's always powerful and then i went to this bomb cosmetics committed liquid lipstick which is a my lips but better shade and that's really it and then right now is probably about the perfect time to throw yourself a dance party okay guys so this is a finished look i love it I'm obsessed with it. I've never really done like green on my eyes before, but I've always wanted to try it. And that Urban Decay eyeliner really inspired me to do this. And like, I'm kind of happy that I did it. But yeah, if you like this look, please like and subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know what you think about voiceovers. I'm kind of not a fan of them. I don't know. Like, it was quicker to get the makeup done and was easier to focus more on like blending and be able to explain it to you over the microphone, but it kind of feels impersonal to me, but just let me know what you guys think down below. Would you rather have me talk for hours or would you rather just get me banging out through a voiceover and get it over with? But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!